going on crew welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel and um appreciate you guys hanging out with me today um actually it's gonna be a crazy day i'm, I'm sure i'm gonna be all all over town today so you guys will be riding with me um going and getting into a little things here and little things there but mainly um, this evening or really this morning um, I think I found a frame for the old 55 but it's across town in Johnson City it's called an A1 salvage um, I believe I got a frame from them about four or five years ago if I'm not mistaken if it's the same one but I, I'm gonna put you in the GPS and we're gonna find out where it's at here in a few but right now I gotta go and pick up one of my partners He's actually stranded. Um, old Counts, you guys met him in the previous videos and stuff and met him at the car shows. That's my, my mentor. But uh, I know he's not too happy right now, but his old cat, I mean, he just got through painting his Cadillac. Um, and I tell you what, she is, uh, for it to be like a 76, this Cadillac is clean, man. I mean, clean. There's only been a two, two owners, uh, him and a person who had it before him. But um, he had just got through putting it um, back together yesterday. And um, he just was doing some you know, test driving it when he put it back together. And uh, But he really didn't even mess with the motor, so I don't know what could be with that. He just did the house, um, exter external part, excuse me. Um, so anyway, he gave, just called me this morning, said that he um, he's broke down by uh, Color Match. It's a place where we get all the paint supplies. So I'm going to head down that way. Um, I gave him a tow truck driver that I, I use um, all the time when I'm, I'm in a, a, a pinch. So um, I just told him I'll start heading that way. So I turn you guys back on here in a, in a few. Yeah, looking for my, my buddy. He should be around here on the side of the road somewhere. I mean, we, we got a, a big trailer, but the winch is dead on it. So we probably wouldn't be able to push it up on the back of the trailer. So we're going to have to spend a little money and call a tow truck, unfortunately. Yep, I see you. I see my buddy. They got the light. They got the. Yeah, the tow truck already there. Well, all right, there you go. So. All right, turn you guys back on in a minute. Yeah, so we made. It, I made it down here just in time and stuff. He's up here towing over the caddy away. I tell you what, boy, she looking good, boy. I got a. Uh, Midnight over here, man. Midnight is looking sweet. Let's take a picture of it. Go count there. He, he's he's heading out. So anyway, we came down that system. He's just gonna ride back with the tow truck guy, which is fine. Now I can go and pick up the frame. Put you guys back up here, and I can go and pick up my frame. All right, guys. Hey, so I just uh, came from the Savage Yard, and um, I don't know why I didn't film it. I apologize, guys. I get so excited, man, and I, I forget that I gotta start filming everything I do so I can show you guys when you guys go with me. But I actually uh, just um, looked at this frame. It's a 2005 Colorado frame, and it's gonna work, man. It's gonna work. It looked good. It looked good. So. Uh, you know, it's, it's got certain little surface rust, but hey, man, this guy gave me a heck of a deal. Um, I'll be able to use the gas tank, the rack and pinion, um, the front end, he is, uh, but everything will work, man. So, I mean, honestly, I probably saved, man, at least a grand um, on buying parts and stuff. You know, rack and pinion, heck, that's about three, four hundred dollars right there. Yeah. So, it still had the cab on it. And um, I'll show you guys some photos. I did take photos of the cap, so I will um, put the photos in this video here so you guys can see. And then when we go pick it up, I definitely make sure that we will be recording everything. Now, it's going to be at the next week, he said, um, when we pick it up. So, and I'm just trying to gather up everything right now, as you guys know. And thanks for hanging out. We just got your boy today, guys. And I know you guys.
find the racetrack. The back side of the racetrack there. So you guys better see it. And that's the Thunder Valley over there. Alright, as you guys see, I'm back home, guys. I decided to get, get the bullseye and I'm uh, heading over to Count's house. Kind of got the old green Cadillac to the house and everything. But um, now he actually brought, oh, he want to know if um, I wanted to check it out. So I said, well, heck yeah, I'll come along for the ride. So um, I'm going to go and uh, hang out with him for a few. And then I guess I'll go, go into work. <laughs> go back into work. It's still early. So um, I'll go into work after I get through playing around. But I just want to take you guys with me to... Um, See what old counts has got himself into now and see what he didn't grow with. So, um, this is old 55 Buick. Um, I'm not sure how it looks or anything. He just told me he got an awesome deal on it. And um, I'm going to go over there and we're going to go pick it up and bring it back to his shop. So, I'll take you guys along for the ride. Hopefully, um, I'll be able to get a little footage in because, like I said, I'm, it's, it's not like this is my project. So, I will um, see how they feel before I start filming, but I'll definitely get some, some pics or something of this uh, 55 guys. So I'll turn you guys back on once we um, get to, to our destination. All right, so we got here, guys. I'm going to go check this car out over here. So that's it, huh? That red one? That's it. They got two of them over there, Count. They got no four, too. I mean, I'm talking about scuff as far as, oh, you see as far as the uh, rust in it? Yeah, there's some rust in it here. It's not bad. Wow. Look at it, it's all fine. You got everything now. Look at those diamond, those, um, those chrome pieces. Oh, I know it. It's all fine. Oh, man, the bumper. Look at the inside. I mean, the inside has never been touched. That's what I like about this car. Look at that. Wow, man. It's, I still got all the chrome on the doors and everything. Even, you see that, that thing on the dash? I mean, even the, the gauges? Yeah. That'll clean up good for you, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I got a bunch of pictures of all, a lot of this car. Let me go in and see if he's playing All right. Yeah, I think maybe we can walk through there one time? Uh, no, you, you're fine. What is this? Yeah. Yep. I know. Look at all that chrome. Can you imagine how much all this chrome would be to get? Yeah. That's the thing about it, too. Yeah. A V8 for this.
But I tell you what, I love it. That's gonna be a nice run. Two to a hard top. Hey guys, hey, I had to step out of bullseye because you guys know it's pretty loud whenever I'm trying to record um, while I'm inside the vehicle. So I guess I'm gonna have to start stepping out because you can't really hear inside of a bullseye. But hey, I just left Council's place with the 55 Pontiac guys. And I tell you what, I appreciate you guys also hanging out with me today, man. That was fun going to pick it up and everything. So I just want to make sure you guys like this video. And if you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button share and like it with your friends and family guys so like i always tell people if you got a fast car or truck smoke them if you got them cj i'll see you guys on the next video i'm out